Hey everyone, this is Matt from Rain here, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Rain One. So the Rain One is the first controller from Rain. It's a two-deck controller for Serato with seven-inch motorized platters. Now these platters use the same technology as the Rain 12 and the Rain 12 Mark II, and they are just as customizable as well. We have our quick release at the top here, and of course, if we want to, we can use the included slip mats or use any third-party slip mats. And if we want to, we can customize the acrylic vinyl with some of our own vinyl if we want to. So it's really easy. It just clips back on and you're good to go again. So with the mixer section, this is a two-deck controller, as I mentioned. So we have our three-band EQ and filter for each track. But what we're going to talk about, first of all, is the effects. Because with the Rain 1, we have access to six effects from Serato. So whatever you set up in your effects banks, these can be triggered via the paddles on the Rain 1. So I've got a loop running now, so I can just tap effects one and trigger it, as you would any other battle mixer. All the effects are post fader, obviously, but I can actually combine effects as well. So I can hold down effects one and effects two, and then get the phaser and the echo at the same time, and adjust it using the depth. Now when we choose the effects, this essentially takes the combination of effects or a single effect across both decks. So if we choose the effect here, we're getting the effect on the left deck and the right deck as well. Of course, you've got latching and unlatching options on the paddles too. Now for our fader section, we use the Mag4 on our cross fader. Uh, the Mag4 is 50% lighter than the previous version, the Mag3, and there's three ways of adjusting it on the Rain 1. We've got our cross fader contour at the front, but then also we have our physical tension adjust if we take this top plate off, we can choose to move the magnet further or closer away from the rail. And then finally, within Serato, you will find a cut and adjust as well. So if I head to my cog icon in Serato here, and to my mixer tab, you'll see I've got short and long adjust. Now that is exclusive to the Rain 1 as of the brand new version of Serato. <laughs> You've also got platter start and stop time adjust right at the top here, so I can adjust my wind down speed if I want to. You've then got needle search right at the top. And for the pad modes, we actually have two layers for hot cue and sampler. So this being a Serato controller, you've got the slicer, sampler, roll, save loop and hot cue. Now in hot cue mode, if we tap twice, you've got the option to use pitch and time if you have the pitch and time license in Serato. So if we choose this hot cue here, and then if I play off the track, I can then move the track through semitones on the pads. That's really cool for routines. Again, you can pitch this up um, using full tracks or it can be just the scratch tools as well. So then if I go to my sample here and tap through, and also if you're in that mode, if you hold down shift, you can then choose a different sample and choose to move that through as well. Now the second layer is the brand new Scratch Banks feature. Now Scratch Banks is a feature that was new to Serato as of last year. Now here if we go to sample and double tap, here's where you can find Scratch Banks. So with Scratch Banks we can load in full tracks or it could be let's say a scratch tool or a scratch loop within four banks over eight slots. So you've got a lot of options there. So it's like a really, really high powered version of the existing sampler in Serato. So if I double tap here now, and then tap my scratch bank here, I've got a scratch loop. Now if I want to move around the different cue points within that scratch tool, or scratch loop, or full track, I tap hot cue, and we can cycle through the cues of that currently loaded scratch tool, or loop, or full track. And I head back to sampler again. I can choose maybe a full scratch tool this time. Let's warm up for our new lesson with some simple scratch. Come on. And I can cycle through those and then choose different banks within Serato. Now, if I want to come out of that mode, I simply hit shift and then any of the pads. And I'm back in my original loop this time. So again, scratch banks is not just a scratch tool. You can load full tracks in there. 
so you can have like a really 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 high powered sampler and you know do really really quick transitions or you know really kind of expand upon your routines not just in turntablist and scratching but it's multiple genre thing but it's pretty cool and then finally on the deck we've got our 100 mil pitch faders with center dent pitch bend and then our loop on and off so with the rain one we're taking all the best bits of the workflow in the ecosystem of the 72 72 mark 2 and the 70 and putting it into a controller form this time so there's no expense spared here it's that same rain build quality it's all metal all steel npc pads and we're taking some different cues from the rain 70 so for example here the loop on and off you'll find that particular workflow on the rain 70 so it's all that great rain build workflow just in a smaller package this time so out of the box, this unlocks Serato DJ Pro. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use the Pitch and Time plugin on the hot cue mode, you have to have that installed already. But Scratch Banks is something that comes pre-installed on Serato, so you have access to that straight away. And for connectivity, we have our master and booth on XLR. We have Orgs in on Phono, and we also have Line and Phono in 1 and 2. So you can connect if you want to, external sources to this, and use it in combination with, you know, Serato or a standalone. We could have deck one in Serato and deck two using Lionel Phono. And if we wanted to as well, we could use this in a DVS setup. Obviously, the Rain 1 unlocks Serato, so you could use your turntables either side. But bear in mind, you won't get the access to the spinning platters because this is a two deck controller, so it's only going to unlock two decks in Serato. And you can use it as a standalone mixer as well. So away from Serato, you're going to get access to the EQs and the filters. Also looking at the deck again now, we have our plunger start stop, which is going to be very familiar to DJs. Nice kind of legacy feeling start stop button there for our decks. And again, this is Rain's own platter technology. Uh, make no mistake about it, it's a real turntable with a real motor. So if we take off this platter here and show you the motor, you can see this actually sends 3600 bits of information to Serato per revolution of the deck. That's actually technically more accurate than DVS, so we have zero, zero latency on the Rain 1, and indeed the Rain 12. So if we do a quick little scribble test. Now if I switch to Serato while I do this, you can see there'll be zero drift or zero jumping around on our track here. So it takes away all the problems of the needle, no drift, and it's always going to be in sync all the time. Now on the front of the unit, you've got your controls for mic 1 and 2. Mic 2 actually shares the controls with our Orgs input, and you simply switch it on the front to control Orgs 2 or mic 2. You've got your crossfader contour, your deck contour, Q mix, and then Q level, and both headphone sizes are accommodated on the front of the unit as well. And then finally, we have dual USB at the top, and then we have our torque adjust to low and high. So we've got a slightly more legacy feel when we're in the low torque mode, and then in the high torque mode, we're around about our kind of 5kg sort of feel. So that's a quick rundown of the Rain 1 for all you DJs in Switzerland. Don't forget to check with your local Rain retailer for more information.